Okay, let's have a look at these two questions, or rather, these three questions here. So, is number 37, looking at 37, 38, and 39. So, the first question is find, let's use this color. It says find the first nine terms, find the sum rather, of the first nine terms of the arithmetic progression with a equals three and d equals four. Then find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression with a equals one third and l equals one sixth. Then the fourth term of an arithmetic progression is 1000 and the 10th term is 2,800. Find the first term, A, and the common difference, D. Okay, so just a heads up, this last one is going to be some, it's going to be a simultaneous equation. And the other two are straightforward. So to start off with the other two, like the first one, 37, uh, we're given the, the sum of the first nine terms is A. So we're given A and D. Okay, so we're going to use this equation, which is Sn equals N divided by two brackets, two A plus N take over one times D and close bracket, okay? So what is N? It says the first nine terms, so N, n equals 9, uh, a equals 3, and d equals 4. So all we do is take this equation and just plug in the values for the, the values that were given. So n divided by 2, 2 times 3, because a is 3, plus n is 9, take away 1 and d is 4, which becomes 9 divided by 2, 2 times 3. So we're going to use bead mass or board mass or bomb dust, whatever. We're going to use that to work out, first of all, what's inside the brackets. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus n 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32. So this becomes 9 over 2, 6 plus 2, 6 plus 32 is 38. So basically just like 38 over 1. So you have 9 times 38 divided by 2. 2 into 38 is 19. So we're going to do 19 times 9. Which basically I could simply find my calculator. Calculator is here. So let's find, let's go back to, to this, uh, oh, we're working out now. Okay, so we're gonna do 19 times nine, which will give us 171. Let me see if I can drag the answer to here. Yeah, but it's too small. Let me just go back, remove that. Anyway, the answer is 171. So this is the sum for the first one. Now for the second one, we're going to use this equation. Sn equals n over 2 a plus l. Sn equals n over 2 a plus l, okay? a plus l because we're given n the first 10 terms so n is equals 10 a equals one third and l equals one sixth right i think we can just put a borderline here right so sn sn equals n is 10 divided by 2, a is 1 third plus 1 sixth, which gives us 10 over 2, which is basically 5. So it's going to be 5 
bracket. If you're doing one third times one six, we can multiply that by two. So that becomes a six. And multiplying the top by two means two divided by two is one. So nothing's changed. Okay, so that becomes two sixth plus one sixth, which is three sixth, which is a half. So it's five times half, which is just five and a half or 11 over two. So this is the sum for that series. Now let's go to this one. So for this one, we've got A and B and the N. So we're going to take this equation. Let's take this equation, copy it, copy that, and we're gonna place it right here. Place it right there, let's make it bigger. Right, and then delete that. So this one here. So first of all, we have, let's say N1 for the first equation. Let's make this bigger. So N1 equals, for the first one, N1 is 1,000, no? The fourth term, so n1 is 4. Let me just write them here, it's going to be easier. n1, you need to see them all. So n1, that's too big. Let's go back to that. So, number of terms for this one is 4. That's n1. And the arithmetic progression. So the fourth term is that, which means N, N1 equals four, and that's UN, or UN1, or UN is 1000. And for the other one, the nth term, N2 is 10, and U, and two is 2,800. So I'm going to take them two. Take these two, copy them, and I'm going to paste them here. All right, so in fact, there's a change of plan here. So instead of using this equation, Okay, because we don't have D and we don't have the sum. Okay, we can use another equation. And that's the equation for the nth term. And that equation is UN is equal to U N minus one. In fact, not this one. We're going to use U N equals A plus n minus 1d. So we're going to end up with two equations. So for the first one, we're going to call it un1. n1 equals un1 equals a plus n1 minus 1 times d and un2 equals a plus and two minus one times D. So the value for D and A is going to be the same. So this translates to what? This translates to UN1 we know is, is um, UN1 is 1000. So 1000 is A plus four take away one times D and 2,800 equals A plus 10 take away one times D. So basically we've got two equations. 1,000 is equal to A plus three D and 2,800 
is equal to a plus 9d. Okay? To make it easier to subtract, I'm going to write the, sec the first equation here. Okay? Move it from there so I can just subtract. I'm just going to put a minus, a minus, and a minus because then this becomes 1800 is equal to the a score and 6, that's equal to 6d, which means d is 1800 divided by 6, which makes it 300. So d is 300. Now, if d is 300, I could go to the first equation, 1000 equals a plus 3d, which means 1000 equals a plus 3 times 300. 3 times 300 is 900, so a plus 900 is 1000, which means a is 100. So there, we found the two values for a and d. Let's make it green. Okay, so that's D. And that's A. If you want to, you can put them maybe in this equation to see if that is true. So if A is 100, if A is 100, and D is 300, that gives you 2700 plus 100 is 2800. So these two are correct.